Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunting sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following them, yeah? Well, people got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. The f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bullshit. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt ship. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. can dramatically reduce the likelihood of death by shark through common sense and situational awareness. Thank you. 
Galapagos to Malaysia, sea turtles live all over the world. But only the trashy ones live in Daytona. While it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less discussed is their propensity to feed on feed. that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chan. Excessive and dangerous lifestyle often results in serious injury for the shark.
catch me to shock myself. Ho oh, oh, ho! Look at them teeth! Ooh, she gonna make quite a metal beast! Got us some dinner coming, boys! Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on all right. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. She's on for me! Hello! <laughs> Are your mama in there? Oh, but why would you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn off that Gamma. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. It's essential that the shark returns to the water.
The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here.
Over hunting of Fawtix Keystone Predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. According to the county administrator, Chuck Hucklebridge, the lack of effectiveness of piecemeal technocratic solutions here can only be solved with more piecemeal technocratic solutions. century America, turtle frolics were popular gatherings where guests ate turtle stew and perpetuated the institution of slavery.
should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and use pregnancy tests. There are 70-year-olds who survive gator attacks with nothing but a golf club. Come on. Nowhere is the irreversible degradation of the natural environment more on display than Dead Horse Lake. Bullshark spots the Barracuda's lifting scale. Although the Barracuda isn't prized as a commercial fish by humans, bull sharks will eat just about anything. satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. Yeah. 
regular day at Flamingo Joe's. Saints it. Tourist train. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers.
lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Abdominal muscles to hold them in place, the shark's intestines become ungainly out of water. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. Responds with swift retributive action. No. of 
the Swampland. By you with it. Time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot. <laughs> It's remarkable how quickly Port Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. Probably a bad idea to make the network to niggas back in migration cycles. Just so. Ain't that right? to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. <laughs> 